world history. Today's video is going to cover the Hernando de Soto expedition into what is all of the southern United States today. Um, it's going to be one in a series that follows the expeditions, the early expeditions into what would become the United States. I hope you enjoy. But first, are you sick of your beard feeling like sandpaper? Can you not find the right beard oil? Well, I'll go visit my good friend Jason over at the Beard Guy and Friends for all your beardly needs. The earliest known exploration of the southern United States was conducted by Hernando de Soto in the year 1540. Now, when the 700 or so Spaniards and their slaves landed in Tampa Bay, Florida, they struck north and eventually reached and held a winter HQ at the town of Appalachia, which is near present-day Tallahassee. De Soto would continue north and visited the various Mississippian towns until around the middle of May when he turned west and crossed the Blue Ridge Mountains at the Svanoa Gap. From there they followed a well-traveled path through the mountains and eventually reached the town that we now know of as Chiaha, which is near present-day Danridge, Tennessee, currently under Douglas Lake. Despite their appearance, the strange men were met with peace by the Chiahans, who celebrated them with food and games, as well as relaxation in the French Broad River. The good times came to an abrupt end when De Soto, who was preparing to leave, asked for women and porters. The Chiahans had attempted to pacify the Spaniards' demands, but De Soto's request for women brought an end to those peaceful relations. So rather than fight the conquistadors, the native people left the island early the next morning when DeSoto found out about it, he responded by leading 30 footmen and 30 horsemen against the Chiahans, who had went to an unreachable island that was said to be more impenetrable than Chiaha itself. DeSoto accepted a negotiated truce that gave the Spaniards porters, but no women. The expedition left Chiaha on June 28th and followed the French Broad River through several neighboring towns. By July the 1st, the chief of Custi met the Spaniards and escorted them to one of his towns at the Custi capital on Buso Island, which was in the mouth of the Little Tennessee River. De Soto took the chief hostage to obtain guides and more porters, seeking to prevent bloodshed after his men pillaged the corn cribs and houses. The sick men left behind at Chiaha and those who had gone into the Chisca country came down the Tennessee River in canoes and rejoined the expedition. After De Soto left Custi, he again resupplied with various foods in the adjacent province of Tali. The 700 or so men would cross the Hawassi River on July the 14th. They reached the town of Taski near modern-day Conasauga, Tennessee. The following day, the Spaniards crossed into northwestern Georgia and continued southward to the capital of the province of Cusa. DeSoto would go on through Georgia and into Alabama and Mississippi. He is noted for murdering many native people in his conquest for gold, and in the end, his expedition is considered by many to be a great failure, as most of his army would end up dying either from starvation or sickness. Hernando de Soto died of a fever somewhere along the Mississippi River. Some sources say that he died near MacArthur, Arkansas, and others say he died somewhere in Louisiana. Nonetheless, he is thought to be buried somewhere at the bottom of the Mississippi River. Before his death, De Soto put Luis de Moscoso Alvarado in charge of his army. Under his command, what was left of the army traveled west again, crossing into North Texas before returning to the Mississippi. With nearly half of the original expedition dead, the Spaniards built rafts and traveled down the river to the sea and made their way down the Texas coast to New Spain, finally reaching Veracruz, Mexico in late 1543. So I hope everybody liked the video, and I hope you liked the narration too. I'd also like to ask for your feedback on the narration. If it's well received, then this will be the new thing that I do, instead of putting words and music on the screen. So with all that being said, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time here on Old History. Music